Hi guys, and welcome to the monthly update for September 2015. And hopefully it, it is September still. It's September when I'm recording it anyway, so it kind of counts. My apologies as if it's already October when you're listening to it. September was another busy month for me. A lot of that time has been spent getting ready for Fallout 4. I've been spending quite a lot of time playing with the latest version of Nexus Mod Manager and as many of you know I'm preparing to release a video or a series of videos. I'm thinking a series of short videos may be best where, where I show how to use, how to install, set up and use Nexus Mod Manager. Of course this is going to be uh, very very useful once Fallout 4 comes out. I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people are going to discover modding for the first time at that point and so it would be a really good idea for me to have those tutorials done by the time that game comes out. So that's a fairly high priority and has been taking quite a bit of time uh, for me. However, of course, I have made time for the Let's Plays. The Jack Let's Play is still on a break and, well, it's almost certainly going to stay on a break until Fallout 4 has been released and there's been a little time gone by. I don't want to start the next chapter, which is almost certainly going to be Old World Blues. I don't want to start it now and be halfway through it when Fallout 4 comes out because Fallout 4 is going to disrupt so many things and I just I just do not want that. I am still doing the Stalker Clear Sky Let's Play. I, I am guessing I will have finished that by the time Fallout 4 comes out. And of course the Witcher 3 Let's Play, which I have zero chance of finishing by the time Fallout 3, uh, 4 comes out. Uh, that particular Let's Play will continue on regardless. I'm going to keep doing three of those a week, even once Fallout 4 comes out and Fallout 4 pretty much dominates. I think it's nice to play something different anyway. I can't just spend every waking moment playing Fallout 4. I will pause while some people type, why not? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to do something different and of course Witcher 3 is that something. I am sticking to my plan to only have two Let's Plays on the go at once. I think it's a little more comfortable for me. It's a little easier uh, for me to just pick up and carry on when I'm only doing two games. And I think it's better for the channel. The reception I get with two Let's Plays seems to be far better than when I do three Let's Plays. There may still be the odd um, special Let's Play like I did with Alan Wake. A short games perhaps I may play in between or perhaps if I get a little spare time I will do a sort of focused let's play. I'm thinking shorter games. I'm thinking specifically at the moment of Soma which is a horror game. As, as many of you know I've done quite a few horror let's plays and I am looking forward to that game. But I don't know when I will get the chance to do that. It could be weeks, it could be months. I am going to play Soma. I am going to record it. If I don't get time during the day, that might be one of the games I do in the evening for myself, but I will record it. I will record that one because I do know a lot of you would like to see it and I will upload it. I just can't promise when. For the non-Let's Play videos, of course, the Nexus Mod Manager, the latest version, that is going to get a video. In fact, I think I'm going to make a series of videos for that. I think rather than a one hour long tutorial, I'm just going to release a few smaller tutorials focused on each individual area. You know, how to install and set up Nexus Mod Manager how to install the, the basic mods, how to use the profiling system, Think just, just separate uh, videos. And obviously that is something I want to get out before Fallout 4. That's probably one of the highest priorities for my channel actually. Get that video, get it right, and get it ready before Fallout 4. I am still planning on making Witcher 3 mods videos, but there has been a bit of a delay. That's partly because of Nexus Mod Manager that has been the priority mod wise but it's also been because I was making a video to showcase a weather and the lighting mod many of you know that 
and I was having some difficulty. I took a lot of footage and was making a lot of side-by-side -side comparisons, but I was not happy with the results. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm, I'm uncomfortable saying this, but the reason I, I was having trouble was the vanilla game was looking better than the modded game. And it's because I had to turn God Rays off for the modded game. The mod author suggests you do that. When I actually turned God Rays back on and took side-by-side -side footage, uh, the, the modded game looked brilliant. It looked really good. But the mod author says to turn it off because there are some moments where you will get blinded, and that is actually true. So I turned it off and did side-by-side -side comparisons, and when you compare it to the vanilla game with its God Rays turned on, and you have to do that because that's how people are going to play it. It looks great. It just doesn't come off well. And I thought it was unfair for me to do a showcase of the mod in a state where it doesn't actually look as good. Th this mod should be compared once he's fixed the God Ray problem. It, it is a work in progress. He said it's a work in progress. He is going to continue updating it. And I think what I will do is I will put that on hold and I will compare that mod. I will look at that mod once you can actually have the God Rays active. Because once you have the God Rays active, the mod looked great apart from those moments when you are blind. And I think it's only fair to actually showcase the mod once it reaches that state, that kind of maturity. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait until there's a version out where when you compare it on maximum settings, which I will be running with all the bells and whistles, it beats the vanilla game. I think that's only fair. Moving on to the subject of live streaming. I am still live streaming. I still play Payday occasionally. I play Minecraft, although we've pretty much decided that it's just me rambling whilst laying down blocks. Uh, it's become a kind of Sunday thing. I've now got a Sunday ramble where I just chat about things for a couple of hours whilst playing Minecraft. That seems to have been a thing. Although it looks like I, I just discovered an underwater temple and a desert and people want me to build a nether gate to the desert. Um, so th there might be some, <laughs> some mixing it up. But if I'm totally honest, it's probably still going to be mostly me rambling. There are some other games. I have been playing Fallout Shelter a lot and naming the dwellers after subscribers and patrons. And that is surprisingly a lot of fun. Uh, not necessarily because the game is awesome. It is, it's pretty good. But because it's a lot of fun interacting with the subscribers on the live chat. It is amazing how passionate some people get about the, the awful things I make their dwellers do. However, um, I, I, of course, I will leave a link to my channel down below, my Twitch channel, if you want to join me live for that. Um, I, I tried out Counter-Strike Go, and I'm going to be making a return to the Darkest Dungeon. There has been an update, so we will be carrying on with the Darkest Dungeon. That's probably, probably going to be Friday. Moving on to community news. The biggest piece of news is probably that the website is very close to being ready for an official release. I have had someone from the community, Quadico, helping me add content. In fact, pretty much adding content for me. She has done a huge amount of work for me and I am extremely grateful to her. Um, we have now got a website that the functionality and the content is there to make it very, very useful. We still need to make the front page, which isn't a big deal, and clean up the menu system a little. But we're getting to a stage where I'm going to give an official release and take you guys on a tour of how to use the website to find the mods that I've covered, to find videos that I may have made, you know, to, to, to allow you to find any useful content, any of the tutorials that I have made to make it so much easier. It's getting very, very close. The official release will be before Fallout 4 and we're talking a couple of weeks maximum. So pretty excited about that. 
The forums that you can find on the website, they have actually been very, very active, even though officially I haven't um, announced them. They're not officially opened yet. Uh, God knows why I'm even saying that, because they're so busy. There are, there are so many people who just interact there that when I, when I finally say, right, the forums are officially announced, people are going to be looking at me like, what, what are you talking about? You may as well go along there right now. Um, they are, they're pretty busy. You can register and then you can interact with like-minded people and discuss a variety of topics. Um, there are, there's quite a lot going on in our community. For example, apparently we have some tabletop Pathfinder RPG groups that have just merged into a huge one. And uh, we have a, a game master called the AD209 and they're meeting once a week on Roll20Net. Get over to the forums and you'll be able to find all the details for that. They're also thinking about branching out into Warhammer, so a lot of things going on. The official vanilla Minecraft server has gone. It is, it is no more. I am going to look into getting that replaced. I need to talk to some of the guys who know what they're doing there and maybe get... Maybe get a server somewhere else. I still haven't decided if I'm going to move a copy of my world to the server so people can actually explore what I have been building and perhaps even help me out. I haven't, I haven't decided there. There's a side of me thinking I want to keep that place for myself. Bit of a mystery. Um, I, I, I haven't decided. I, I may, I may release a version of it onto a server where you cannot do any building, but you can visit it. You can't destroy anything, you can't build anything, but you can visit it. You can visit the house and the lava tower of doom, which, which doesn't have any lava at the moment and isn't particularly doom inspiring either, actually. It's pretty, well, it's pretty is what it is, but it doesn't sound right, does it? The lava tower of prettiness. Um, the lava lust. Glass Tower of Prettiness. Uh, whatever. Um, so there will we will look into getting another Minecraft server set up. We still have a Steam group. I will leave a link down below to that. It, it has a curator page where I make recommendations and there are discussion pages and occasionally I will announce events. I, I do have a public Steam profile that you can check out with all of my videos linked to it, but I do ask you not to just send me a ran random friend invite. It's not me being snobby, but I cannot accept all the friend invites because Steam limits the number of friends that you can have. There is a limit, and of course, I, I do need some slots free because I do actually add people from the community to my friends list when we play games. So, for example, if you're playing Payday 2 and we get a game going, I, I send you a friend invite then, or you send me a friend invite and I accept it. I'm going to be playing Counter-Strike Go. Of course, I'm sure a lot of people want to join me for that. That's when I add people to my friends list. When when we get a game going. That way, I can, I can actually play with you guys in-game, but I don't run out of friends slots. If you do want to get in a game with me for something or anyone else from the community, join the TeamSpeak. Links down below. Join the TeamSpeak. That's where we organize everything. If we have an event like Payday, we set up a room and I just drag people in from a certain waiting room and I try to make it so I pick people I've not played with before, if at all possible. So we try to have one or two people in the group who are first time. So. You've got a pretty good chance of getting in the game if you get on TeamSpeak. Again, links down below. And that is about it for this video. Obviously, the coming month, October, is going to be pretty damned busy as we ramp up to Fallout 4. Things are going to start picking up some momentum. I'm going to be spending a lot of time on the Nexus Mod Manager stuff and in preparation for Fallout 4. So I am looking I'm looking forward to a busy but enjoyable month. I hope you guys can hang around and join me for that. And I do appreciate all of you. I appreciate all the subscribers, the patrons who support me financially, the subscribers over on Twitch, and all of the people who donated to me, and in general, make this possible to everyone who clicks 
the thumbs up, writes a nice comment, or even a not so nice comment as long as it's constructive. Thank you all. Thank you for making this possible. Thank you for making this fun. And thank you for joining me. And with that, I will bid you goodbye, and I will see you next time. And until next time, remember as always, have fun. Mm -hmm.